As always, I'm going to first apply a base, and this one is from Sigma. It's called Persuade, and this is in the stick version. And then for the palette that I'm going to be using, it is the new Deck of Scarlet palette for this month. Deck of Scarlet is actually a makeup subscription service, so you get a new palette with pretty much everything you need every two months. So the first thing I'm going to use is the blush that actually comes with it. I'm going to use it as a transition shade. It's kind of like a rose colored blush. And this palette is pretty cool because you get all of these things. This one comes with a three eyeshadows, one highlighter, one blush color, two lip colors, and an, a mascara. And then I'm going to take this supernova color. Oh my god, I am obsessed with this color. It's like a silvery purplish color, like lilac color. Oh my god, it is so intense and pigmented. I love it. And then I'm going to take the plum, the matte plum color, and I'm going to add that to the outer corner of my eye. And basically you get all this stuff for like the, less than the price of one of these products would probably cost. And this color, I really love this color too. It was so pretty. This color with that first shadow that I used, they just go so well together. And it's pretty cool because every palette that it, they do, they create it with a top YouTuber. This month it was Belle Jordan. Let me know if you guys know of her. So I took Sigma's Wicked Gel Liner and I just applied that just above like a regular line but without the wing. And then I added a little bit of black with the Sigma E45 blending brush, like a pencil blending brush. And I just added that to the outer corner and kind of smoked out that liner a little bit. Then I just added a little bit of the mascara that comes with the set, the palette. And then I'm going to apply lashes and then I'm going to move on to my face. So to prime my face, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Next, a new foundation I'm going to try is, the, is by Milk Makeup. It's the Blur Liquid and it's a matte foundation. I'm gonna try the color medium. I think it's a little too, I think it might be a little too dark for me. I'm not sure. I think I need medium light, but I'm just gonna try this. And it does say to shake it to activate the blur microspheres, I think it said. And then I'm also taking Sigma's new, what is it? F80 Air Flat Kabuki. I used it yesterday and I love it. It's a dual fiber brush. It's basically like, the F80, but it's a dual fiber. I think I like this one a little bit better than the F80 just because it's a little bit softer and fluffier. I think it might be a little too dark for me, but I'm just gonna kind of go with it just because I really want to try it. I really like this brush. I'm going to put it on my neck because I don't think it's going to match very good, but... It's got good coverage. I think it said... I don't know if it said it was full coverage, but it's got good coverage. I like dual fiber brushes in general, so maybe that's why. But I really like this dual fiber brush. See, like, even... Because a, a dual fiber brush is good for stippling, like stippling on your face. It's good for covering up stuff, so oh, I'm kind of really liking this brush. Foundation's not bad either. Concealer, I'm also going to use their um, Flex Concealer, and I'm in the color Light. Both the foundation and the concealer covered that pretty, pretty good. Next, again, is something that I'm kind of scared to try out because it can, can kind of mess up everything I just did. 
It is the new Milk Makeup Setting Powder. It's Blur Plus Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. I'm excited to try it, but I'm a little scared to try it right now. So I'm using Translucent Light. They have a medium and a dark. Comes with this little thing right here. I have not used it yet. Or opened it yet. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Ah, it has this little thing like Huda Beauties too. This little like net thing. So how do I get it out? I don't like these little net things. I really don't. Like I'd rather just have a plastic one. I'm trying I'm trying to like dump it out, but I can't really get anything out and what Huda Beauties is like that too. I like it so far. Let's see as it let's see how it works as it sets. Under my eyes, I'm gonna use this last color right here, which is called Drama. So I actually put a link in the description box. You can get your first palette for 30% off. And if you're a new subscriber, you can also pick which palette you want. So if you didn't want this one, you can get a previous one. In my waterline, I'm taking Marc Jacobs Irony Liner. For the inner corner, I'm going to use this highlighter right here, I'm not blocking my nail, which is called Shh. To warm up my face a little bit, and I'm going to take, I think I'm going to try this Makeup Forever Artist Face Color. I don't have it in a little thing, it's just a single little thing the way they come. It's Sculpting Powder in S112. This is probably going to come through the more I rub it. So I'm kind of just going to tap it in there. And then for blush, I'm going to use Whisper from the Deco Scarlet palette. Okay, and for highlighter, I'm going to use the sh highlighter again. I think this might be my, I think this might be my favorite palette. Whoa, this might be too much. I think this might be my favorite palette from Deco Scarlet. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. That's really pretty.
We didn't even add any setting spray on top either. So now I'm gonna open up the second part, which has the two lip colors. I am going to use this one, this top one right here, which is called Tempting.